What's up guys? So today we're looking at this Half Breed Blades CCK05 Compact Clearance Knife is what it stands for. Uh, made in Australia. And uh, I got this in a crate club and in that video um, I actually got a bunch of comments and I got a ton of messages from people asking what this knife would look like without the scales. And I was quite curious myself and as you could see <laughs> by the Torx driver and the pins out there then I took the scales off. But before I show you what's underneath the scales, uh, let me just tell you that that was a chore and a half. I don't know why. <laughs> um, there's some kind of uh, thread locker that was on these uh, these screws as hardware. It looks white to me. It's kind of hard to tell. But um, what happened was the bottom pin, or bottom screw I should say, uh, wasn't too hard to take off, right? I got my Torx driver and I started to try to unscrew it and I couldn't really do it very well. So then I ended up uh, asking Christina to hold the knife and I got another driver, okay? So she held it like this and I put a driver on both sides since there's a female screw, screw head on both sides. All right, and then I was able to turn them opposite directions and I was able to untorque or break the thread locker on there and it was able to come out pretty easily. I thought, all right, cool. And then I tried the other one and nothing. And I tried again, and nothing, and again, and again, and again. Um, then I broke out the uh, the hair dryer to heat it up, okay? So if you don't know, when you have like things like Loctite, which is a, a very common brand of thread locker, um, sometimes you could hit it with heat to soften that up, especially if you have blue Loctite. Red Loctite is a much harder substance. It takes a lot more heat. A lot of times red Loctite is used on things like firearms because obviously it will generate a ton of heat to begin with. So you don't want it to soften up and then obviously have uh, parts fall off. At some point I took the uh, hair dryer because I figured it would loosen up the uh, the thread locker on there like you would have with Loctite. If you use blue Loctite or even red Loctite, if you use enough heat, it'll soften it up and then you can back out those screws. That didn't work either. So ultimately I ended up breaking out the drill and I took one of the uh, the bits that was in the, the Torx bit set, put it in the drill, pushed really, really hard, hoping for the best, crossed my fingers and zip zip and luckily the screw popped out. So, um, yes, these things are definitely put on there and they are not going to move unless you really want them to move. And even when you really, really want them to move, they still won't move, okay? So beware, if you get one of these knives um, and you wanna take these scales off, it is certainly a chore. But anyway, to reveal what is underneath these scales, and I do love that these are cut out, all right? So you can see that the scales match up. They completely wrap around this handle. And with the scales on, let me just say one more time, it is really comfortable. This knife is actually really growing on me. When I first got it, I thought, oh, you know, it's just a little bit heavy and that the handle scales are a little chunky. And I thought, let me take them off and see what's going on underneath. Maybe I'll like them more. Uh, but anyway, here we go. Let's see what is actually going on underneath. And there it is. There's the actual knife. All right, you can see that we have a very thick stock on here as well. Okay, it is a heavy duty uh, knife. Um, and uh, as far as like how it feels without the scales, if I wrap my pinky around the side and I push on the side, all right, it's actually pretty comfortable. I can use this without the scales, albeit not that pretty looking. Uh, it definitely looks like something's supposed to be on there. I suppose if you were handy and you had some material, you can certainly make smaller scales, you know, maybe scales, even if you just had like an oval or something, like a little tiny piece of G10 or micarta or something, and just made an oval and use the same hardware to, to basically attach it to that. Um, similar to like, I don't know, Azula or something where you just basically have a little rounded piece that's on there. That'd be kind of cool, something different. Uh, but if I uh, if I take this off, because I, I tried using this a couple times just on a one cardboard box, zipping through it. When I first grabbed it, my pinky landed on top like this and it was fine. I was able to cut through it, you know, not too many uh, issues as far as uh, discomfort. But then I changed my grip a little bit, not on purpose. The knife was just kind of like, you know, not really slipping in my hand, but I just repositioned my fingers and my, my pinky wrapped around it. And that's where the issue was because there's jimping on the back here. All right, and when my pinky wrapped around it, it landed here and these corners are kind of sharp. All right, it might be hard to, to see there, but this, uh, this cutout right here, it's kind of sharp on both ends. So when my pinky wrapped around, that's where it was uncomfortable. And I'm like, ah, oh, that's a no-go for sure. Uh, but um, but yeah, so take a look at the uh, the actual scales. You can see how these are cut out. These are just really well finished, right? It's kind of a nice idea to have such a, a, a bulky scale. I mean, initially it seemed bulky, but it was 
it was kind of uh, necessary to get a really good grip on this knife. All right, they have that kind of like rock pattern cut out, which always reminds me of like Anzo design knives. You know, this one I don't believe is uh, designed by Jens Anzo. Um, but yeah, I mean the, and the knife obviously without the scales, it's usable. It's definitely smaller, but I really do like how these scales fit. So here's a little close up again of how this scale goes on. It's not the exact cutout of the shape of the handle. All right, you can see there's like extra space in here. So at first it was a little confusing trying to figure out which scale was which, but that's exactly how it fits. And you can see that the, um, the holes are kind of oblong inside the actual knife itself. There are flat ends to the hardware. All right, so you can see there's a flat side, all right, and that is so that it actually won't move. So that when you're tightening this hardware down, it won't spin, okay, which is very nice because obviously it's double headed. Normally, if it was just a circle and didn't have that flat spot or this, you know, proper cutout here, you would have to have two Torx drivers to actually undo it. Now, it was so hard to undo in the first place, um, you know, it wasn't, that wasn't the issue at all, but it is a nice design. It's just one of those little, little small details that matter. Um, but yeah, so here's how this uh, fits back in here, just like so. All right, top scale goes on. Kind of line those up, and there it is. Very simple. All right, then you can pop these through. It doesn't really matter if the, uh, the female's on the top or the bottom. But you have to rotate, obviously, until it pushes all the way through. Put that other, other screw in here as well. All right, because I'm going to put this back on. I do like the... Uh, I do like the handle scales on it. It's kind of what makes it unique and, and special, and it's definitely different in how it feels and looks. I actually checked out Half Breed Blades, some of the other stuff. I really like their folder. Um, if you happen to have their folder, let me know down in the, the comment section. Make sure those are pushed in all the way. Um, because I think it's really neat. Some of their other fixed blades are actually, I just really like the designs. Like, aesthetically, it's not that good looking to me right off the bat. I mean, some people think it's good looking. Um, I personally don't think it's like the nicest looking knife. I think it's it's you know disproportionate with kind of the chunky handles and stuff. But it is super comfortable in hand. It's fine when you're covering all that all that bulk. It looks really nice. It looks kind of like a uh, a little dagger or something. Um, but yeah, I wasn't like a huge fan of how it looks. But looking at some of the other blades that they offer, really really nice stuff. Like really nice stuff. So I might have to investigate them in the future, specifically that folder. Just really aggressive looking. All right, so even without the Loctite, uh, I'm very, very confident that this is going to be secure. It's not going to have issues as far as these coming loose at all. But again, I can't stress enough what a pain it was to get these scales off. So if you have this uh, this knife, it is not going to accidentally fall apart at all. Uh, and I do love the sheath. I'm telling you, I, I love this. This is. Uh, a very cool design specifically for, you know, your molly straps and stuff. Um, obviously, it was designed to go on some kind of like a tactical vest. Um, I think that this is not a great option for that just because it is heavy. It is definitely on the chunky side. So <clears throat> if I was some kind of a uh, operator <laughs> or soldier um, or if I was in any position, maybe, uh, I don't know, a SWAT team or something or whatever, whatever you do for a living where you have to wear a tactical vest with some soft armor in it, or some ceramic plates or something like that, and you're all loaded up, uh, weight would be a big concern to me. And uh, I wouldn't want a bunch of magazines in there, and then you know maybe a radio and some other stuff, and a medical gear, and then have a, a heavy knife. I'd have something that would be very capable. I'd have a large blade, but I'd do something like uber light. That uber's past super. You have light, then you have super light, then you have uber light. Because uh, I would I would definitely want a knife on me, of course, you know, maybe for CQC or maybe even just for utility work. Maybe you just have to cut something. It's not like life or death stuff. Uh, but I would go super lightweight with a long blade for a, a tactical vest knife. All right. So this system is amazing. But in my opinion, not the my first choice. Far from my first choice for that specific type of knife. However, if you're not doing like, you know, all kinds of missions and, you know, maybe you're just wearing your vest on the range for range day or something, I don't know, feel cool or, or practice for the apocalypse, whatever, then it's not a big deal. But again, I mean, I would, I would imagine in a real life scenario where you're wearing a vest and your life is actually in danger, uh, weight is a huge consideration. I'd rather have more ammo and stuff on me uh, and maybe other things, like I said, medical gear, uh, communications, things like that, as opposed to a super heavy knife. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's really cool. I really do love this knife. I just, uh, I just keep grabbing it. I keep gravitating towards it. 
The jimping on the back here, all right, is very purposeful, but it's a little rough on the thumb. Again, pushing hard on it, cutting through cardboard and stuff. Um, and I didn't do all that much cutting, but just kind of one box. It just felt like a, like I, I didn't have an issue with the one box, but I just kind of knew from experience that if I just kept zipping through stuff, it would be irritating to the thumb. So this is not like, you know, your utility knife. This is obviously going to be dedicated for some kind of a, a defensive type situation uh, or short-term use utility knife. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, that is pretty much it. Just want to make a video. Uh, I was surprised by how many people were interested to see what this looks like under those scales. And they are nice chunky scales, um, but you can definitely do something else if you wanted to. As far as a power cord wrap, eh, I mean, you know, it's, it's up to you. It wouldn't be as chunky as this, but I think it would still have the same profile in, in one way or another. Um, it would be a little thinner, but I'm not a huge fan of power cord wraps. It really depends on the knife. If you have a skeletonized knife that really can afford to do a wrap on it uh, properly and very securely, that's one thing. But sometimes when you just kind of like MacGyver it and just basically wrap paracord around there and it's not really, I don't know, it's on there, it's really snugly or anything, then I don't know. I don't think it's a, it's a good look or, you know, very functional because eventually it does get loose and I've had those experiences. You know, I've tried paracord, uh, excuse me, paracord wrapping tons of different neck knives over the years too, like skeletonized neck knives. And sometimes they come out good and sometimes they just don't. They just flat out look horrible and they're just not that functional to begin with. Um, but definitely, as I mentioned before, if you took these scales off and you had, you know, basic tools and some material to make little oval scales that went on either side of this, I think that'd be pretty cool. It is pretty neat. But, uh, again, I mean, it's designed to have those scales on there and I, I can definitely appreciate that they're completely wrapped around scales. Okay. Obviously it is a full tang knife in case you were wondering, you could see the tang down here, but who knows, right? But now, uh, now you do, now you do know full tang knife, just really interesting. Definitely something different. So pretty cool. So that is it for now. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know down in the comment section, do you own any half-breed knives? If you do, let everyone know what you think of them. But like I said, really kind of looking at their other stuff. They have some really interesting knives. This is probably, even though I like this knife and it's kind of cool, this is my least favorite knife of all the stuff they offer. I really do love that folder. So I am very curious out there, uh, anyone who happens to have that, what you think of it. Because it looks nice. It looks like a really nice folder. So anyway, that is it for now. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.